In this video, you will learn how to search for online articles in the EBSCO database. We'll discuss how to conduct a basic search and how to adjust your search in order to retrieve the most relevant results. The library uses the term database to describe a searchable online resource. You can find a variety of information in databases including full text articles, abstracts, citation information, newspaper articles, ebooks, and images. Using the library's databases will help you find reliable information from trusted resources. Let's start at the library website. To see a complete listing of all the library's databases, go to Find Resources and click on Online Resources. Scroll down to Full Text Magazine and Journal Databases and click on the aggregated search of the three EBSCO databases that the library subscribes to. If you're accessing a library database from off-campus, a login screen will appear at this point. Enter your name and student ID number to continue to the online library resources. Now you can enter your search terms. Search terms should be the word or words that best capture the aboutness of the information you're looking for. If you're not sure how you want to narrow down your search, enter a broad search term. Click Search to get your results. Notice how many articles are retrieved. Each entry gives some basic information about the article, such as the title, author, publication date, and the type of publication the article is found in. These can range from academic journals to newspapers, to magazines, and more. To avoid browsing through all the results, filter the search by using the Refine Results toolbar. It's important to make sure the topic is specific. While it may be tempting to cover everything about a topic, part of writing a strong paper is addressing a topic in detail. If a topic is too broad, the paper will need to be very long to include the detail that's expected in a college-level paper. Here are examples of broad topics that have been narrowed down into more specific topics. Let's take a closer look at the Refine Results menu. First, there is the current search information, including the search term. Let's check the box next to the full text in order to limit the search results to full text articles. Notice how adding the filter has narrowed the search results. You can also filter results for articles that have references. This means that the author has cited research in their article and provides citations. Checking scholarly journals will look for work that contains original research conducted by professionals and academics that have been reviewed by their peers to ensure the information is accurate and contributes to their field of study. This process makes them very reputable sources of information. Next, you can set a date range for your search. Source Types allows you to pick different types of publications, such as magazines, newspapers, and academic journals. Academic journals are the same as scholarly and peer-reviewed journals. You may want to start with sources like magazines, newspapers, and books to gain familiarity with the topic before looking at the more in-depth academic journal articles. Subject uses broad terms to describe and filter the content of each resource in a database. Clicking on Show More will reveal all the relevant subjects. Use these headings to find relevant items on the same topic. Searching by subject headings is the most precise way to search article databases. Let's narrow down the search by selecting a subject term. Next to the subject, you will see the hit count. This corresponds to how many results match that subject. After narrowing down the results, don't just click the first one. It's best to figure out if the articles will be helpful by reading their titles and abstracts. Mouse over the magnifying glass icon to see the abstract. An abstract is a short summary or outline of what an article is about. You can get the full text of the article and the detailed record page from this pop-up box. Clicking the article's title will also reveal the detailed record page and the links to the article. The detail record page contains the publication information for the article as well as the abstract. It also has a list of subject terms for the article that are used by the refined results filter. Subject terms may not be words you would normally use to describe something, which is why starting with a subject search can sometimes be unhelpful. But once you find a subject term or two that are appropriate for your topic, 
you can use them to find many of the relevant articles in the database. On the right-hand side of the page, you will find the toolbar. Here you can print the article, email it to yourself, or save it into a folder, Google Drive, or onto a flash drive. The most useful tool on this toolbar is the Cite tool. This generates a citation for the article that you can use on a works cited page. You must include a citation every time you quote or paraphrase from a source in your research paper. While this tool can save you time, you should check these citations against the MLA Handbook, the library's MLA Citation Guide, or the Purdue OWL website to ensure they are formatted correctly. Click the HTML or PDF full text links to access the article. PDF has the advantage that it preserves the page layout of the article, including any images, charts, or graphs that were published in print. An HTML file is simply a text file. Once the PDF is open, navigate by using the arrows, typing in a page number, or by scrolling to other pages. Notice that the toolbar is still accessible in this view. Now that you are familiar with the EBSCO databases, here are a few tips to help you if you get stuck while searching. If you have too many results unrelated to your topic, you can add additional search terms, use more specific search terms, or use the refined results toolbar to add filters. If you have too few results or no results related to your topic, you should check your spelling, broaden your search terms, or see if there's a better database or information source to search. Finally, you can always ask a librarian for help in person, on the phone, or by email. We look forward to working with you.